Are you sure that your partner still loves you? Is your partner showing real feelings or just faking it? Maybe your partner just waits until there's a reason to break up with you. If you are always overthinking whether your partner still loves you, you can prove it by watching this video until the end. Because we will discuss the signs that your partner may not be in love with you anymore. If he or she doesn't do these signs, then you can ease your mind. Be sure to take note of these though. Hi, welcome to Soul Joy Arena and in this channel, we will talk about relationships, marriages, love, sex, and much more. Even if you believe you understand your partner's love language and can respond to it fluently, there are times when what we need to feel loved and what our partner needs to feel love are different. As a result, both of you may feel unfulfilled in the relationship and yearn for something more satisfying. It's hard to figure out if your partner doesn't love you anymore. Maybe they are just busy working or they are busy with their life. If you are constantly bothered by thinking that your partner doesn't love you, it might be time to re-evaluate your relationship. There are some warning signs that indicate your partner no longer loves you. In this video, we will outline those signs and show how to differentiate between someone who is faking their feelings for you and someone who is truly in love with you. Number 1. They are always busy. If your partner frequently says that they are busy or acts like they are busy when it's time for you to spend some time together, there is a chance that they may not truly love you. Sometimes, they spend more time at work even if it is not necessary to avoid you. They would feel obligated when you initiate plans to spend time with them. Or they would not want to go on dates with you anymore. They would instead celebrate special occasions with friends and their family rather than celebrate them with you. When someone is genuinely in love with you, they want to be with you, enjoy your company, and look forward to doing so. If that is not the case, well, your partner may be feeling something else about you. It might be a good idea to set some boundaries and spend time with others instead of your partner so that they can see that you won't wait around for them and they might start to change their attitude number two they do not engage in conversations if it seems like it's too difficult to talk to them it is a bad sign that your partner no longer loves you they no longer want to know how your day went. They no longer want to share funny conversations. They can be easily annoyed when you say something. They only initiate contact when they feel that it is important. You can feel that if you are sharing something and they are not listening. They do not engage anymore when you are telling something about your life. Isn't that too painful? It seems like you don't have a partner anymore. Number 3. They don't want to have sex with you. There are countless relationships with distinctive sexual lives. Three times a week is the norm for some couples, three times a month for others, and three times a year for others. However, if you avoid having sex to the point of disgust, your relationship may be in the verge of collapsing. Relationship health cannot be determined solely by physical attraction. 
But guess who feels disgusted when you even consider kissing your partner? Your partner. If that is the case, maybe you might want to reevaluate your circumstances. Number four, they no longer compliment you. Complimenting someone shows your appreciation for them and concern for them, which is a great way to make them feel loved. There is a good chance that your partner doesn't love you as much as you think they do if they rarely compliment you. But don't interpret this negatively. Do not assume your partner does not love you because they do not frequently compliment you. Some people use compliments to deceive others into believing that they love them. A person who truly loves you might not be as good at communicating their emotions as other people are. If you are with your partner for a long time and you know that they are always giving you compliments, then suddenly it stops? Then that's when you can say that something is off. Number 5. When things go wrong, they put all the blame on you. In a relationship, it's normal to want to point the finger at someone. but. If your partner consistently holds you responsible for everything that goes wrong, they don't love you. If your partner constantly blames you, that is not a good sign. People in love with each other take responsibility for their actions, understand that relationships are a two-way street, and try to fix their mistakes. To avoid having to deal with conflict or problems like an adult, they would instead put the entire burden on you. This indicates that they are probably afraid of responsibility. What do you think about these signs so far? Share them in the comment section below. And hey, if you are still new to our channel and you love our topics, don't forget to like share and subscribe number six they don't respect the relationship respect is a key component in any relationship because people who respect each other also love each other so it's not a good sign if your partner doesn't seem to respect the relationship or you if your partner is constantly putting themselves first Without considering your feelings, they don't respect you. They may believe that they can do whatever they want, and you will just put up with it, but that's not healthy. They may have no boundaries when it comes to meeting new people or if they constantly flirt with other people even though they are in a relationship. Number 7. They don't make an effort. If your partner doesn't seem to care or if they don't make any effort, it's a sign that they don't love you. People in love make an effort because they want to please the person they care about and they want to make things work. If your partner doesn't care about the relationship, they won't bother trying to improve things. Recall how your partner used to go out of their way to make you happy. They would buy you flowers, surprise you with tickets to a show, or make plans for special occasions. If this doesn't happen anymore, like after how many months or years, this can be a bad sign. It seems like only you are trying to make the relationship work. Number 8. They become secretive. In a happy relationship, both partners express their feelings and thoughts to one another. But if your partner has started acting distant or secretive, it may mean they no longer want to share their life with you. For instance, 
they might not disclose their destination or the people they will be with. This kind of distance can signify that they no longer feel close to you or that they no longer want you in their life as much as they once did. They may also start to keep their thoughts and feelings to themselves rather than sharing them with you. They will not let you touch their phones like they usually do. You must observe when they become secretive because most of the time, they already have an affair. Number 9. They always point out your faults. Do you feel as though you can never please your partner? Do they criticize everything you do, no matter how small it may be? If so, this could indicate that they are no longer happy with you because when we are unhappy with someone, we tend to focus on their flaws rather than their strengths. For instance, your partner might have been offended by something you did, but instead of talking to you about it, they might start criticizing everything you do to make you feel guilty. This is not a healthy way to handle relationship issues and typically indicates that the person is no longer happy. Number 10. They have fleeting behavior. Your partner might appear to be entirely in love with you at times, but they might also be cold and distant. This fleeting behavior indicates that they are unsure of how they feel about you. They may be showering you with attention before withdrawing to see how you respond to make you feel secure in the relationship. Both partners may find this behavior to be very puzzling and unhealthy. It's important to discuss this with your partner if you're going through this in your relationship so you can figure out what's going on. It can be challenging to determine whether your partner truly cares for you. But if you are aware of the signs, you can distinguish between someone who is just faking it and someone who is genuinely in love with you. If your partner exhibits any of these traits, it may be time to reassess your relationship and decide whether you still want to be with them. It's essential to keep in mind that everyone expresses love and affection in different ways. Still, if they exhibit most of these behaviors, they probably don't love you as much as you thought. Dealing with that can be challenging especially if you're in love with them. But the sooner you realize the truth, the better it will be for both of you. What do you think about this topic? Do you agree with us too? Do you have more signs that we can add to this list? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.